activities and more enjoyable to like actually like do and actually we all were given the assignment to like know other people have new friends so i would say that there's a lot of people here that i didn't know that were even in misery and now i do so i appreciate what i got and the social skills that i got from this so. i think it's going to be very beneficial in my life i've learned a lot of life essentials as in giving cpr to someone who needs help and i've, I've made a lot of friends this week i've learned my social skills have got better, and learning about mental health and all that. I didn't know before, so these are opportunities that you guys have to kind of get to meet other kids who have a lot in common, right? You see your parents, you know, sitting back there. We all kind of have that common background of where we came from, and you guys are our children, you know, like growing up here in America. Um, you already have something in common. So I encourage you, exchange numbers, uh, the Snapchat or whatever you have, right? Keep, keep in contact with each other, uh, encourage one another. Um, and all the lessons that you all have this week, right? I think one of them, I, I, I caught the tail end, the, the state trooper was talking about the company you keep. The company is very important. And I'll let you in on a little secret. What he said, it's not something that just happens in America, okay? Even when we were growing up in Kenya, we were told the same message. The company you keep it, it can make or break you, right? And I, I tell my kids that some of the people that I grew up with in Kenya, in my neighborhood, um, were growing up in the city, some of them made poor choices. And those choices, cost them their freedom. Some of them are in jail, and some of them got shot by the police, right? And it's all as a result of the choices that they made. So what the, the state trooper was talking about in the video and what you guys heard, um, you know, I don't think they were saying it to scare you, but they were saying it so that you all can be aware of what happened. And also too, cultivate the right type of relationships. You know what I mean? Because we want to see you all flourish, right? We want to see you all doing good uh, and, and take things to the, the next level. Like show us what we, 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 we came to this country, now you guys show us where you can take your lives. Right? The difference between you and those that opted to stay at home all that week is so big and it is going to be multiplied in the future, and we will see it in the future. Those that stayed back at home for various reasons, and they were not telling you, will not be as you as time went by. What? They cry together. When I was going to the seminary back in Kenya, St. Paul's, my friends that were there, we all had water and it was in a national school. But because I come from so far, I knew I have to set my course. And I can tell you today, when I go to London, I visit my friend Tony. He's school. He used to dream very well in London. When I was in Greece, I went to visit my friend Charles. He's doing very well in Greece. All right? When I go to Dallas, I visit my friend, Dr. Kemal. You know Dr. Kemal. He was with school. I visit my, my friend, G.G. Nittani. Uh, he was my schoolmate and actor of my classmates. All right? Dr. Isa Karanja, who is here in St. Louis, he was also my schoolmate at the same institution. When I go to Boston, almost all the whole group that I handled, they became very stable people. Because when you handle people, you become who and what they are. Alright? So this is very encouraging that you are having, and actually you are proving to me that you are group. You all have the same kind of attention. We kids, we are together. We are, we are together in this, all right? And so I want to encourage you to keep your own people doing what you're doing, or be focused. Uh, if you 
cannot change friends. Do what? Change friends. What does that mean? If you cannot change friends, change friends. What does that mean? Yeah, if the group that you're hanging with, you cannot change it positively, leave that group, change the friends, and join another friend. If you cannot change friends, change what? Friends. So just like I say, my, most of my friends, they are doing very well. They have the best churches in America. Dr. JG, Dr. Kimar, Isaac is right here. Myself, I'm right here. London Tony is there. Miss Charles in Greece is there. Do you think the speaker of who has more, more energy than I do? He's younger than I am. He's younger than I am. But these little dreams, the leaders. But the fact that he can do it again and 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 again. That is what you call, not really, I would not even say a gift. I would say a calling. A calling is something that is in you, no matter what happens, you are in it. And uh, congratulations, dear friend. And this, this is going far. It's a difference for the community, and there's no better place to welcome the youth than the church. All the time, you're most welcome. So we have a little present for you, for your kind of gesture. Amen. If you have not been assigned a mentor, when you go to the mentees group in the forum, uh, I'm in that group. My name is Gladwell Kevin. Send me a uh, message. Let me know that you don't know who your mentor is so that we can be able to coordinate. There is a message that was sent, I, I believe it was in the beginning of May, where uh, we needed you to fill with your communication with your mentor or not. Don't ignore these messages because that is how we are able to coordinate the program better. Why do you need a mentor? A mentor is someone who is volunteering to invest in you, to be able to help you uh, succeed by using their own experiences to inspire you, to help you to move from one stage to the other. You don't have to follow, you don't have to make the mistakes that you made when you are going to school. Right now, there's so many opportunities. We tend to have uh, partnered with very many organizations, very many schools. You want to be able to make a, uh, to take advantage of uh, those opportunities because those are the opportunities that help you be able to gain scholarships. Those are the opportunities that help you to get to good schools. So you want to be able to take advantage of those. When you are assigned a mentor, uh, always know that the mentors are these people, uh, but they are volunteering to be able to help you. So make an effort to reach out. Make an effort to communicate with them because in their busy schedules, they might be up again. And for most mentors, they are going to invest in you as much as you invest your time in it. When you get a mentor, know that this is not somebody who is there to uh, tell you what to do push things down to you. There are people who want to be able to connect with you. You have to have an open communication. You have to be able to, if whatever advice they are giving you uh, doesn't make sense to you, you need to be able to ask the questions. If uh, the direction that they are leading is not a direction you want to go, let them know. It, it is not a written, there is nothing written in our program that says you have to do this. No, it is, you're, you're going to meet people who are not of the same age. And so it can become a challenge to adjust. So you want to start building on that confidence level, you want to be able to start building on that self-esteem. And whenever you have any issues, if, uh, let's say for instance, uh, you reach out to your mentor and you've not had to back from your mentor, reach out to us. That uh, we can always assign a different mentor, we can always find out uh, what is going on. It is not something that, oh, uh, they are not interested. No, that is not always the case. Sometimes life gets busy and we always shuffle uh, the mentors so that you're not just working with one person, you're working with multiple people who can be able to help you in different ways. For uh, the group that graduated from high school, is anyone who graduated from high school here? And when you take these things, 
uh, they are able to not only uh, how to graduate faster, they are new opportunities, they are new uh, scholarship opportunities because the schools can say that uh, you are interested in growing your academics. Yes. Here on time. I know they sacrifice a lot, so let's give them a. To cap it all off, uh, we have. So congratulations on enduring the whole week, coming to class on time, being present, and even doing it. I know a lot of you, maybe your friends didn't do it and you ended up doing it. That's a big step. There's a lot of those steps coming in the way as you continue with high school, as you go to college. Just keep doing things to elevate your future. And you get to a point where you're like, you'll be thankful for this opportunity. And remember to thank your parents, thank your teachers, and even thank your mentors. They're the people who always be there for you. So congratulations once again. And I wish you all the best of luck. Nintendo! Awesome.